What's going on guys, Jacob Bardotti here, back from my vlog. This one's gonna be a short one. I know I haven't posted in a couple days. It's been like a week or so, like a week and a half, but I've just been so swamped with finals and everything. I'm graduating like I've talked about in previous videos. This wind is picking up right now too because we get this super sick uh, Delta breeze, so I'm sorry if there's a little bit of wind noise. Uh, however, this is basically one of the only times I have to actually record. I also have a full paper to type tonight that's like 10 pages and I also have a presentation tomorrow and an exam tomorrow. So, and this is not even finals week, so it's pretty, it's pretty packed. But, while I was on my way home from class, I went ahead and got my new front tires put on and this is exactly what I was thinking of whenever I had these new wheels. So I thought that this was going to be the setup that I'd really fall in love with and keep in mind the car is super dirty I literally looks like I go bogging every time I show you guys the car but uh, just keep in mind when I clean this up at car mecca it's gonna be looking great nice and polished so without further ado let me just show you guys what I'm talking about right here is how the car is looking and yeah I'm super satisfied with how it's going I just stopped over here because in and outs right there and uh, I want to get some food so I just brought it over here there's too much uh, there's too many people over there to park but uh, yeah I'm definitely getting looked at for talking to myself, but who cares? I'm really stoked with the front fitment. This is now a 245. Uh, it's fender to lip, basically, which is exactly what I wanted. The lip, I mean, on a Mustang, I don't think you can get it to go all the way to the ground unless you get the GT500 style, where it's a little bit bigger. Or if I went to like 18s, which I don't really like the look of. If I was a track car, that'd make sense. But uh, yeah, this is, this is how it's looking. Now I can finally go zero PSI on all four corners. And yeah, just the tint's looking good. The wheels are coming together, the front end's dirty because of bugs, but just look at that fitment. That's really uh, exactly what I was looking for, and it's it's cool because this is all my vision, exactly how I wanted it to be. Um, I'm pretty dang stoked about how this is turning out. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I will be at Car Mecca, which is in Sacramento, here in uh, May 26th. I'll see you guys there. I'll also be posting more information about that on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already. But right there, you guys will be able to meet me. I'm not too special, I'm just kind of a normal guy, but I'd love to just talk cars with you guys and show off the car and see what you guys think of it in person. So if you're in like San Francisco Bay Area or Redding or something like that, Car Mecca is in West Sacramento or basically downtown Sacramento. So it's definitely worth it to go to. I'm telling you guys, there's like 400 cars that are gonna be there. I went last year, which was their first year. Crazy turnout, so this year is gonna be even crazier, I'm sure. I know it was kind of a short update here, but I think I'm gonna also throw this on my head after I eat. I'm just starving. I've been working on school stuff and just all my life stuff, generally. So uh, I just need to get some food. in and outs gonna be the ticket. We'll do the point of view video that you guys love whenever I'm driving the car. So I'm gonna go eat. All right, so that was a good meal. Now we're gonna go ahead and run some errands. All right. Anytime you wanna get in your lane. take the easiest route out have the windows down hopefully you guys can hear me <clears throat> I don't have my mic on me today so we're not gonna roll with that but uh, we're just gonna talk while I go to Target and grab a few things I have a bunch of my capstone things that are coming out so I got to get all that stuff done and yeah so basically I've been working on school stuff the car has been kind of my like have fun in the evening and run an errand or two or something and run in that but uh, really I've been here I'm gonna roll these up really I've just been working on school stuff man I really didn't expect it to be this heavy I know 18 units is a lot and also having a girlfriend and job and working on personal stuff and running this YouTube channel it's a lot of stuff to do however I thought I could just balance it all and do a lot better however uh, it's kicking my butt, but it's coming to an end. It's all paying off. I'm gonna have that bachelor's degree. May, I think it's 18th. Yeah, May 18th, I graduate from Sacramento State University and uh, I'll have a bachelor's degree, which will be pretty, pretty awesome. Birthday's coming up this Saturday, which is the May 11th. Uh, I was actually born on Mother's Day, which is this year on May 12th, but I was born on Sunday. So basically I was a Mother's Day gift to my mom. So I gotta grab some stuff for her as well. That's part of my errands that I'm running here. So definitely treat your guys' moms right for Mother's Day. They're the ones that brought you into this world. So you gotta give them some love. As you guys can probably tell, it's dusk out right now. 
Uh, not terrible with the tint. I mean, it's it's definitely darker on that side. However, it's not too bad. I mean, I'm looking through my windshield, which is tinted, and there is no way someone can see me besides maybe the red flashing light on the GoPro right now because I am completely like incognito. A couple of you guys have also left comments asking what this thing is in the corner. That's my N-gauge. Uh, it's actually just a tuner. You don't have to leave it there. You can just tune your car and take it out. And it actually does fit in this little AC vent circle. Those 11 to 14 guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, this it just has a couple of readings I have on there. AFR, my knock, uh, my cold air intake, uh, coolant temperature, and my battery voltage because the airlift runs off the battery. <laughs> And it can sometimes be kind of draining, so I just want to make sure the alternator is working. That way my car doesn't get stuck on the ground. I've also been talking with Derek Baron Productions, or Bear Baron, I don't know how you say his last name, but uh, yeah, I've been talking to him. He's getting a coyote, so he's asking me a couple of questions. I think you guys are going to like his stuff. He's going to get a pretty badass car. Um, you guys will just have to take a look and see. But we're almost at one of our destinations for the first stop. So I'm gonna go ahead, wrap it up. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what I did with my tires. Uh, I just got that done today and the fitment is next level to me. Like I'm re-falling in love with my car again, taking photos, looking back at it, you know, every time I park it. So that tells me that I made the right choice with these wheels. Cause the fitment up front in the beginning was kind of whack and the ballooning tires, you know, I wasn't a fan of that. So yeah, this is just a completely new look and I don't remember my car being that low before with my old Mickey Thompson's and Verde setup, but it's looking pretty sweet. No, it's not everyone's taste to be on the ground, uh, but that's the beauty of the bags is that it actually gives me the possibility to do both. You know, I can raise it up and be like on lowering springs, which I am right now, or it looks like I am right now. And then I also have the ability to just slam it and put the freaking frame on the ground basically. And uh, that's just the beauty of bags. And then obviously I can raise it up. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here. I think I've rambled on long enough. I didn't wanna make this a super long video or cover like really, you know, planned out topics like I usually do. However, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. We're parking out here in the boonies because I do not want anybody. Hey, Mustang, S550 bro. Let's look what you're looking like. Oh, that's a bullet. Oh, heck yeah. All right. I ended it, but here's a bullet. I didn't expect this. I can reset this back to zero PSI, which I'm pretty stoked on. Uh, it used to be like a 25 or something. So yeah, now I'm back at uh, my zero PSI. Also, Elite Audio put in some new LED lights in here. Super bright. Ooh, watch the door. Nice. Got a bullet with his personal, or like his mineral, uh, this guy's California temporary plate. Nice. His lip is in the grass. That's pretty cool. You know, I'm not a fan of the S550s, but with the red calipers stock and everything, the Brimbos, manual, leather, this deck lid with the little uh, crosshairs, it's pretty sweet. They also make the green one, which I'm really big fan of. I'm a really big fan of, but uh, this one right here with the black and black, I think that's a pretty cool photo. Probably snap a few photos real quick and then head inside.